hello lovely people a warm welcome to my channel once again i want to say thank you to everybody who keeps coming all my subscribers the new ones welcome welcome you enjoy this ride i tell you so as you can see or you can hear yeah my control is to be is happening so um this is um contemporary stew okay in my language i'm a queer pimp so we call it contemporary freud asantis call it um abum or something contemporary abum or something like that yeah so um i'm going to go through how i make this it's very simple i hope you enjoy it and yeah i will just walk you step by step this is very significant to me this to you because he brought someone very special into my life this to you so yeah i'll tell you as we go along so um enjoy the ride and please um like subscribe and share and um let's go let's get let's just get into it okay so um i'll be i'll be starting with my ingredients okay so um as you can see right here my ingredients i have my contumery and contumery are from kukuyam kukuyam leaves okay i have my kobe my salted fish i have my tomatoes my eggs which i'll boil and put on top then um that is it really i'm not going to put anything else in and my chili and i have this um kuhun susua hmm I'll find the English name and I'll tell you. Maybe I'll type it up. I think something there is, but I can't remember. But we call it Koen Suswa or Bedru in, um, yeah. And I have my Momoni, okay. So this contumery, I got it from London. And can you, you just imagine the journey of, of this contumery from Ghana to London? <laughs> you know, you know that contumery has suffered already. But whether you suffer or not, we are here to destroy you. Yeah, you may you eat like that. Okay, so here I'm just soaking my um kobe, my salted fish in water. This is just so that it soaks, it becomes a bit soft and it takes away some of the salt. As you know, it's very salty. Okay, so what I do with my contumery is that I normally take out the um the spine, the what is this one called? Uh, I know, I know, I know. I take this all those like hard bits out oh my days i really do know this one the stems the stems oh my days my memory is failing me now anyway i take all those ones out the stems out and i just need a leafy bit people leave it in but not me that's not how my mom taught me my mom to we take everything out before we cut it hey this woman hmm so yeah so that's all i do i do that and i wash it well what i'm going to be doing is i will just boil it for it to be soft then um i will grind it in the earthen webo or asanka as we crappings we call it okay so um basically it's very easy and simple okay so yeah i was checking to see if there were any imperfections in some of them then i'll just tear it off yeah so i just add water and then i boil it so what I do is I add um, the tomatoes, but for some reason, this video was made like eight, nine months ago. Okay, so I lost some. So, um, yeah, I put those small, small green berries in a bag so that I don't lose them. It doesn't disappear when I need to pick it up. So, you know, just a plastic bag and I boil it with it. I don't know. I can't find a video for adding the tomatoes, but I added the tomatoes and I boiled the um, Kobe a little bit as well somewhere, but and every and the pepper as well so yeah this is from here on you see that everything that is just self-explanatory so you understand so as these things are going on well before i say that as you can see I've ha i have my tomatoes the reason why i boil the tomatoes is for me to be able to take the skin off okay that is the main purpose so i have some onions okay these are some shallots so i've sliced half and i just chopped um one roughly just to um be able to i'll just i'll just be grinding it really just to grind it and add all the other things to it so this is like very local dish that we make i really actually enjoy it very much with plantain but i i mean a pim or impima but we don't have it here where i live so i settle with the yam like that and i don't like a pin too so i won't go with a pin too so as this is grinding i call this 
dish generosity dish because um one day i was about 16 years old and we lived on a compound house and opposite me had um come this lady she was new someone married her one of our neighbors married her and brought her to our compound and this lady woke up very early in the morning and she was doing a whole lot of things she was cleaning tidying up because she had only been brought to the house and she needs to make the place look nice for her she was washing doing and me too i had a habit of if they give me like you know chop money i just go and buy some you know food stuff and i'll come and cook my own food so that day i was yearning for this dish and plantain so i went to buy the ingredients i was just cooking for myself so as I sat there, I was just doing the cook. I've seen this lady working from morning till that time. And I didn't see, I hadn't seen her eat anything. I didn't speak to her because I didn't know her. I'd never spoken to her before. So um, I was young and she's old. So it's like the relationship is not going to be very, you know, easy because she's old and I was very young. I don't know how to strike that conversation with her. So I just finished making this dish that I'm making which as you can see my yam and my eggs have been boiling and my kobe too i put it in for it to cook a little bit you know so that it's you know easy for me there's no much this it's used to this thing has salt the salt in it is unreal but yeah we still love it anyway anyway so as you can see i'm just grinding everything is just self-explanatory so now the cocoa yam leaves which are the contumbe is soft now and I am going to be grinding it, that's all. When I finish, I'll just put the whole pot on fire, yeah? And I'm not going to transfer it into a saucepan or anything, on fire, and I'm going to be cooking it in that, I think, we're about there, asanka. And then I'll, I'll chair my oil inside. So what it means is I'm going to fry my onions and my kobe and my momone, my salted fish in that, and I'll just pour it on the, on the, mixture and it's ready to eat with yam so i finished cooking my food um back to 16 years old and then i'm like should i give her some or should i not should i give her some or should i not? i wasn't sure but then i decided to give her some so i took some put it in a bowl and i went to give it to her then i said please and um, this is can you have this i thought she was going to say no but then i tried anyway then i gave it to her and she was like oh thank you very much actually we're speaking to you so yeah, that's about I mean, sure, like no problem. I gave it to her. She ate everything, licked the bowl, everything. She had the woman ate. She was so hungry, you know. So there's a story behind why she was hun hungry, but it's not meant for here. But then she was really hungry, and that was it. Since then, she became one of my bestest friends. She's a family friend. And now, after, since my mom passed, she's assumed the position of our mother. So she's now a stepmother. So, yeah, this day she really. Um, is really dear to my heart because that woman is a super woman. She's just a beautiful woman inside out. This dish goes to her. Anytime I bake it, it reminds me of that day, that decision I took to be just a little bit generous to somebody. And this somebody became one of our best family friend and now even like a family member to us. So yeah, that is why I call it generosity. Kuntum rest you, okay? Because this, this generosity and this to you brought somebody special into our lives not just me but the whole family so i am referring to those who know my sisters watching and my brother watching i'm referring to mama lee sister lydia bakupe yeah sister Lydia bakupe yeah lydia lydia sakodie now known as lydia blemenu or blemenu <laughs> yeah so maybe my sisters don't even know the story because yeah they were a bit young and they were good they didn't maybe they may not know so they'll find it very surprising if they don't know yeah, so that is how we got into Sister Lydia. So I, I started the friendship first before they all came. So as you can see, I've added my oil and my Kobe and everything. And that is it. And the stew is ready. So all there are, you see, what this stew, when you transfer it from the fire to the table, all you need to do, you have to soak a towel with water. Or if you have this um, fire protectors or things that you put your thing on. In Abruche here, we have it back home. We soak towel in water, otherwise it will bend the table for us. So this dish is really, really delicious. It's just, just amazing. Those who've had it, those who've tasted it can testify to this. It's just super when you get your proper 
plantain be she said broad dear dear let me say it in my language she said broad dear dear um wa son son ah eh urade enye mu na son son eh hu a son son na unya sa froya you are done hmm you na you chew your teeth this food hmm let me leave it right here unya wahia unya wahia just here so as you can see this is the same recipe but another day okay it's my favorite food yeah as you can see i make it whenever i have the ingredients so i hope you enjoyed this video and please um as i said earlier please like share subscribe okay subscribe and don't worry very soon i'll be bringing you the word i know it's been a while but i need to take a break from some things yes and then bring you um very good content you know in that regard so thank you all for stopping by god bless you and i will see you in the next one love you all but just the best bye